to another Tablets Glass Emporium YouTube video. Today we're looking at another one using the IKEA stand. This is one for all you lovers out there. This is a sort of Valentine's Day inspired love scene. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to make this. So to start this project we just sort of did a kind of, you know, we were sketching it out and kind of thinking about it and then we made the pieces and they sort of go together. And um, I've sort of made sure, they're quite narrow, these um, pits with the light. They're only 30 centimetres, 12 inches wide, so you're quite constrained by what you can fit on it. Um, I want to do the, each of the hills going from kind of white to, to darker grey, each one. So I've literally gone through what I had, and I've got white, so I've got grey tint, light sky grey, and charcoal grey. And I'm going to do each one in a slightly... Um, uh, you know, starting with the front one in white and going darker and darker. Um, as always, using powders, you want to put a good layer on. Please wear masks when using powders. I'm only not because I'm filming. And as you see, I'm putting quite a thick layer on. I want a good kind of layer. Now, I might put a little bit of frit on top of this as well. Um, but I'm going to put the, the colours on each one of these. Um, for the trees, I'm going with slate grey. We cut these again out on the Taurus saw. Um, with our lovers, I'm going to go slate grey as well, with maybe, I don't know, white on the heads. The moon is the only thing that's not tector, that's opaline. Now, with the moon, I'm going to put a layer of um, French vanilla down, and then a layer of dense white, and then do some water droplets on it, like I've done on prior projects, to sort of um, uh, get an effect of, like, you know, moonscape. So when I get to doing that, I'll show you how I'm doing it. For the layer with the moon, I have cut a piece of fibre paper that fits around the moon, and then this can go on top so that we'll have a bond between these two layers. I'm now going to put um, some charcoal grey on top of this one, and French vanilla and do some um, dopping on top of this. So to do the moon, I wanted to use a French vanilla and dense white reaction, but I can't find my dense white powder, so I've decided to use instead some light silver grey. So I'm just going to put light silver grey, on top of here, oh, what a decent covering, but not as thick as I've gone on the other ones. I think something like that should be good. Now I've got a, a water pipette, and then I'm just going to use that to create my craters. Now, if it gets too saturated, it sort of stops them working. But I also do want to have some areas where it's sort of clear from the grave, so the opaline below shows through. It's getting quite saturated now. So I can, at this point, I can just use some toilet paper and carefully blot the excess water off. and sort of see what I've got. Um, it's looking kind of pretty good moonscapey, but I think I will just try and shift a bit more of the powder around. So when it's ready to go in the kiln, I'll show you how it looks. So here is everything in the kiln ready to go in. I'm not adding the people yet. We'll do that in the second firing when we're just adding a few of the details. This is just to get the powders onto, the, um, and onto everything to make sure it's sort of easier to do everything else. So here is this out, um, the kiln. I'm, I love the texture on the moon. I think that worked really well. The opaline hasn't really striped um, at all as yet. And I think the colours are a little bit pale. Um, they're very transparent still. So I'm going to put a bit more powder down um, on these and add the... So I need to add this to here. I just need to make sure it's in the right place. You can imagine this is going on front. So that needs to be tucked in there and I'll probably use fibre paper. Because I'm putting this back in the kiln, I'm going to have to re-put the fibre paper on the back of it. 
Um, it's just stupid to me. That one's pretty good, but I'll probably put it back in so they've all got the same kind of firing. And I'll put a bit more um, colour on here and add the leaves. So I'll do that all on a kiln shelf and we can have a look as I do it. For our lovers, I've put, got a piece of fibre paper again and I'm notched in behind and this will go on top. And we're going to put more um, uh, glass on top of here to try and make it more a bit, a bit more opaque. And um, also then I will put a bit of uh, greys on our people as well. Here is this ready to go in the kiln. I've just done a bit of scraffito onto the top of the trunks to add some texture and we've added two red love birds, a real pop of red colour in this, it's all it needs. Um, and the rest is ready to go in and we can have a look how it looks when it comes out. So here it is out of the kiln. I'm, I think this is a really elegant, simple piece. Um, I think sometimes using kind of grey scale is fantastic. I'm loving the, just the pop of colour of the red birds and I particularly like my moon. Again, the opening hasn't striped. I don't know why. Maybe it's not opening. Maybe it's just mislabeled in our thing and it's white. I think opening would look really good. Um, but it looks fantastic. I'm going to turn it on with a light and look how great that looks. Um, so this is another idea for this. We have a few of these IKEA um, stands uh, in stock at the moment, but they probably will go quite quickly. Um, I think we sold half already. So if you don't have one and you want to get one, we do have them. Unfortunately, they are more expensive because Croatia is more expensive than America and the rest of Europe. But we have them if you want them. Um, and we are going to carry on throughout the year making other projects using this idea of this stand. Um, so we've got this one for Valentine's Day. We'll do one for spring and we'll carry on throughout the year doing these ideas using this stand. So it's quite a kind of clever idea that you can utilise it throughout the year and take out different glass and put some different glass in whenever you feel like a change and change up your decorations. Um, which I really love, this sort of versatility of this. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember, you can get all our products at tabletsglassemporium.com and I will see you next time. I've been here before it Looks like a troubled time To be so far from shore Starry skies will guide us home and